Bonjour, how are we doing from uh, sunny France? Now I went shopping the other day and I went to the supermarket and um, I bought a burger, um, a microwaved cheeseburger and it was a bit similar to what like a rustler's or something like along them lines so I'm going to get it out and I'm going to get it in the microwave I'm going to see what it's all about so let's have a look in the fridge where it's hiding <laughs> so here it is I got I showed you the other day I did a little video of what I bought from the supermarket so there it is look so let's get this out and have a look so there it is um, I can't say I couldn't tell you what it is uh, I know it's a class well it's a classic cheeseburger and tell you exactly what it is um, and there's the date on it look 23rd of the 7th so we've got a bit of date on it so we're all right there it's unopened. I'm going to get it open now and I'm going to have to get the um, receipt out to see how much it was. So bear with me. So we're a little bit tight for space here. Um, <clears throat> but never mind. So what's going to be difficult now is reading the instructions to microwave it. Because I don't, I don't speak the old... Uh, the old lingo like, you know. Um, but there, there, there it is, look. I mean, it's... Um, uh, have a look at that. See what you think. You get, um, well, on the box, it's showing exactly what you get on the box, look. With the cheese and looks like it's got gherkins in. I don't know whether to open it or not. Let's have a look at the instructions. Oh, hang on a minute. I'll need, I'll, let me just get the um, receipt to tell you how much it was. So, <clears throat> I found a cheeseburger on here and it's a two euros and 89. Right, where are we at? I've lost it again. Um... There it is, two euros and eighty nine. Look, so I thought it was a bit cheaper than that. So it's not exactly cheap, is it? So I was just having a look at the instructions um, and working it out in my own, like, sort of simple way. And I would imagine that is sort of remove the burger um, from the plastic sort of sleeve and then sort of put it back in the box. And then cook for one minute and that's a 900 watt so that's what i'm going to do so we're gonna, gonna have a look at it i'm gonna have a look at this burger if I can get into it. packaging 100 percent packaging won't let me get in <laughs> always get a knife i always find knives are good knives work well so there it is look there's your gherkins And there's your cheese. I mean, I, if you don't like gherkins, you're, you've absolutely scuppered, aren't you? Because I actually like gherkins, I'll be honest. So there it is. So it goes back in the box. And it's like a microwavable bottom bit there, look. And then we pop, pop the lid on. And it's going in the microwave now. So let's have a look up here. I've got the microwave here. Now, I'm going to err on the side of caution here. Because I'm assuming that this is not a 900 watt microwave. Um, and I don't know exactly what wattage it is, so I would imagine it's about 700. So it's going to be a bit longer than one minute. Um, so that's on full power. That's one minute, so I'm just going to go and do like one and a half minutes. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, in sunny France, it's a bit different, isn't it? It's something different, I suppose. And um, if you've not subscribed, well, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I can't do my normal videos um, because I'm, I'm, in, I'm on holiday in France, but I'm just doing a little bit and a few bits and bobs of the local stuff. Um, so you lovely people out there, if you're visiting the area, can sort of... You know, you'll have an idea, what you? And heads up, as they say. My lovely girls are just watching me in bemusement at me. What's up, darling? Are you all right? She's thinking, what is he doing? <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, I'll bring you back when this is pinged. So it's pinged. Um, and it's just sort of cooling down. So there's the ingredients for you lovely people out there. Lovely foodies who can speak French. Um, allergens, probably mustard. Um, is that salt? Um, 
you probably would know better than me to be honest but there's lots of ingredients in there isn't there um lots of ingredients bovine is that a cow 37 percent um, and i don't know what that says there like but um it's all in french isn't it and there's a little bit of a little bit of information there look <laughs> and a range of the products that they do look double cheese ma uh, bacon I mean, it's, it's, it look, does look alright on design, doesn't it? There, there's inside look. So it is the burger. So, <clears throat> let's have a look. It's nice and soft, the bun. There is the burger look. And there's the cheese, and it's all melted in nicely. That's got a bit few hard spots. Maybe I might have overdone it, but I'm not, I'm not taking any chances, I'll be honest. It did say one and one minute, but that was nine hundred watts. And this is um, it's only a little microwave, and it's so it's probably about a seven hundred watt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this cool down a little bit because it's absolutely um, it'll just it's scorchy or it's like the weather, and I believe it's red hot in the UK as well. So fantastico, as they say. <laughs> they did all say that, do they? I've just said that. So I'll bring you back in a, probably a couple of minutes. So I'm going to uh, get into this burger. There it is. Look, have a look at that. Just um, done my thumbnail. Let's uh, it's a bit hard. It's gone hard there. I've overdone it. I know I have. Never mind. See what this is all about. Yeah, it's um, no different really from um, ones you get back at home. I mean, the cheese just tastes the same sort of thing. It's You're not going to get away from that microwave burger kind of taste, are you? Let's be honest. I mean, I'm quite impressed with the filling though. You don't get them back home. You don't get the old um, gherkins and, and like. The cheese comes in like a wrapper, you do it yourself. You can either add it or you'd, you can take it away. And the gherkins are all right. It's, it's, it's done all right. Um, th there's the meat. It's quite a decent sized patty as well, I'll be fair. But I have I have overdone it. The bottom, that bottom there has gone rock hard, unfortunately. But that's my own fault. It's just because I don't know the microwave and I, just, I didn't want to sort of underdo it rather than over, you know, I wanted to do, I didn't want to give myself the old runs like, you know. But it's not bad. It's it's quite dear though, at two eighty nine. Don't know what that equates to in English money. Do you, my good lady? About two quid. Two quid. Two quid. Two quid? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a little bit over two quid. But I suppose it's. I'd say it's a quarter pounder. I would imagine. But yeah, I've I've overdone it. Well, I'm gutted about that. Mm, but I'm quite enjoying it. Would I buy it again? Um, I wouldn't buy it again. No, I'm not. I'm not massively fan of these sort of burgers. I'll be honest. They all have the right. They all have their own sort of place, though, don't they? The convenience, and obviously that's it. Did you say it was two euros eighty nine? Two euros eighty nine. It equates to £2.46. Wow. That's dear for a microwave. <laughs> £2.46. £2. pence. So, yeah, it's quite dear, actually, for a microwave burger. And I can't eat that bottom bit because it's too hard. But I'm still going to eat the rest. Because I don't like wasting food, as you know. Mm. You get the cheese, the gherkins. It's probably a quarter pounder. Still not, not, not for me. It's probably a six out of ten. Six and a half. I'm being a bit not generous, or but never mind. We tried it, didn't we? So thanks very much for watching. 
and I uh, apologise for talking with my mouth open, uh, eating with my mouth open. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a barbecue sorted out and the plan is to try and book into this restaurant that's up the road and try and get some frog's legs and some snails on the go, like, you know, some escargot. I think that's what they call them. Is that right, my good lady? May we? May we? <laughs> mange too, mange too. Um, and then um, get a barbecue on the go and got a week left. So take care, all the best. I'll catch you on the next one.